Hello and welcome to the third episode of How to Be an Expert in CCR. Today's episode is concerning sewer speedway. This one isn't as hard as mystery caves at all. The only problem with this one is the barrel cycles. You have to be very, very careful with the barrel cycles. Uh, the shortcut can still be a bit of an issue. There's a few times where I do tend to fail the shortcut. Kind of really sucks. I hate face planting that wall. It brings me so many flashbacks to when the shortcut was broken back when the game first came out. But here we go. The best time, 1.43.93. Very fast time. Uh, I didn't actually use the Speed Ghost for that, and I don't plan on using it today. If you want to learn how to use the Speed Ghost, I'm sure there are plenty of videos you can go watch. Go watch the World Record video for this. You'll be able to see what the Speed Ghost is like. I'm not about that. I don't like doing most Speed Ghosts. Some of them I do, because they're, they're very, very easy and pretty hard not to do, if you get what I mean. Like, you can do them by accident, they're that easy. But yeah, here we go. And you'll see those later on in the series when those are uploaded. So here we go. First attempt at this track. Basically, you want to get the triple boost off the start. Get the fastest fire that you can going up to the first boost pad. Fun fact about the first boost pad is actually it's a slower boost pad than the one on the shortcut. So what you want to do on this first lap is you want to get that first boost pad you always want to go to the left hand side here like this you take this shortcut and you want to get this boost pad if you jump over it you want to restart because that boost pad is slightly faster than the fire from the earlier boost pad in the in the track you want to jump over this corner jump here you don't want to boost at all jump here and jump here as well go around this corner and then you start boosting around this final corner i'll do that again in the next lap and you'll see exactly how i do it just copy exactly where I go. And you do not need to boost any of it. Again, one boost to the right, some boost to the left. Now we want to jump over the boost pad because we don't need it anymore. Somehow I lost fire there. Kinda sucks. Jump up here. And you want to jump right here. The reason I got squashed, I lost fire. So here we go. Let's do it again. Triple boost off the start with the perfect starting boost. Really not a good start there. It was going well, and now I've just messed it up. Here we go. As I always say in these videos, it can take a few attempts to get it right, obviously. Nobody is a robot. No one can do this every time, so here we go the problem with me doing live commentary I guess. Makes it very very difficult for me to uh, do everything that I want to do without any mistakes but it's all good. That is what happens if you jump too far on that boost pad on the shortcut. You reach that, um, you reach that barrel too quickly and you basically always get squished. Ideally, you want the slow jump. I got the fast jump there, but it's fine. Honestly, it doesn't lose you that much time if you get the uh, if you get the long jump. As long as you don't get squished by the barrel, and you stay to that right side. It'll be fine. So here we go. We do a couple boost around here. Jump over here. Double boost onto the boost pad. Try and stay as straight as you possibly can. Right, we want the far jump now. Yep, good. Right on the inside there. This barrel could be a pain for us. Let's see. Nope, we're fine. Stay up here. You do not want to drift, like I said before. Go right around this corner. There we go. There's a lap. Stay as close to the walls as you can. Save so much time you don't even realize. You can save seconds by staying closer to the walls. Jump far again, that's perfect. Right, the barrel is going to be super horrible for us here, so what we're going to do is we're going to jump around the barrel, jump again, 
just the, exactly the same as we do every other time. Just go wide for it. And there you have it. There should be a 143, 44, sorry. 144, 47. Not an amazing time. See, I lost about 0.2 of a second there because I went round the barrel instead of going down the inside of it. But there you have it. There is the sewer speedway run. Not bad. That was my joint 4, 4, 5th best time there. Pretty good run, honestly. Took me a few attempts, more than uh, some of the others, but hey, we, we all make mistakes. And there we have it. I will catch you in the next one. Please like and subscribe. Let me know in the comments if you're really enjoying this series. Make sure to thumbs it up. And yeah, catch you in the next one.